Welcome to a how-to video by Frank and today we're going to look at setting up a washer and dryer, attaching it to an Arduino, attaching that to our Ubuntu Linux server and then we're able to monitor the status. Alright, so as far as some tools go here, I uh, just got a socket set, screwdriver, some electrical stuff like a multimeter and soldering iron, just your basic stuff for adding it. As far as parts go, a couple photoresistors, um, just some typical resistors, and a couple LEDs. So here we go. Okay, as far as parts, we got just a simple LED with a resistor already built in there, and then also a photoresistor for the other end. And got a 5 volt wall wart here that will power the LED. And for a project box, I'm just using an RJ11, just a typical phone mount and phone cable. Now, of course, you can't run this through your... Alright, as far as taking the dryer apart, what we want to do is we want to get behind the um, timer switch, because that's where we're going to pull our 110 from to power our transformer. Of course, make sure you unplug before we start working on it. Of course, I'm going to let you guys figure out how to get in your dryers. Okay, here I got the dryer open, and this is the back of the timer uh, switch. And what I actually did was plug it back in. Of course, be very careful here and turn it on. Turn the dryer itself on, and then using the multi-reader, uh, just probe then until you find one 120 volt AC, and that's what's running the motor that actually tumbles it. Of course, it's a 220 appli uh, appliance but it only uses 220 for the heater element and the motor actually runs off of 120 and then what I did from there was to solder the end of the extension cord pigtail in there and that's what we'll attach our transformer to so plug that in there and then run the end of the transformer out of the back of the dryer and that's what will power out of the phone jack box uh, what we have in here is connector that connects to the transformer that goes from the back of the dryer right into there and then resistor and our LED and then our photo resistor that goes to the jack port which will lead to the Arduino and so alright here's the finished product as far as the bathroom side goes with the box mounted there and so we turn it on and we even get a little LED right there that's shining through. And now we can tell when the dryer is on and off once we hook it up to the Arduino. And now we come to hooking up the washer, which is a little harder because we don't have anything that really stays on. And there's, of course, different model types on the washer. If you have an older washer, you might be able to use a timer like we use on a dryer. This one, however, is electronic based and so what I'm going to try to do is wire into this LE start LED and maybe put an LED in parallel with that that will then connect to our photoresistor and then the Arduino. Alright and here I've wired in uh, to the front display panel uh, to the start LED which is here so same as the power one and if we turn the washer on, it lights up, and so does my LED that I soldered in parallel. Alright, here's the washer box. All we have is the LED. We don't need a resistor on it because we're just running it in parallel off the status light on the washer and a photoresistor connected to the RJ11 port, which goes to the Arduino. So, Alright, here's the box with the cover on it, and we'll power this up. Turn it on, and we get a little indicated LED there too, so we're good. Right here we have the Arduino code. Uh, pretty straightforward. We have a, uh, two analog pins, one for the dryer and one for the washer. You also see some code here for the doorbells uh, that I have. And then also two output LEDs on the digital side that will turn on uh, LED if the wire or the washer dryer are in use. 
uh, two integers that are really booleans that uh, if the washer or dryer were in use the previous loop through and are now not in use that's what it keeps track of and then we can tell when the washer or dryer finishes and then how much time to delay in milliseconds each iteration through so in setup we turn on serial we put the status LEDs as outputs and we print started just for fun then each time through the loop uh, we reset the delay time to 10 milliseconds and then here's the washer sensor where we read the washer pin and if it's above a certain value you might have to figure out what value that is if uh, depending on whether the LED is on or off the photo resistor will give uh, that value and then we set washer in use to one because it's on and turn on the LED and then if the washer is off we check to see if it was on the previous cycle through and if it was then the uh, bathroom washer is finished we print that to the serial and set the delay time to a second so it waits a little longer so hopefully it won't read it twice basically and then washer in use zero and turn off the LED and the dryer s stuff is exactly the same and then also we can get the status by echoing asterisk uh, to the Arduino and it will read that and then print back to a status if the dryer is in use or available or washer in use and available so if we want to get the status of them we can just echo asterisk to the Arduino and it will tell us so that's the Arduino code all right, here's the Arduino uh, end hooked up. I have five volts going up to the photoresistors and then the signal wire back from them, from the washer and dryer. And then signal pins going to analog four and five for both the washer and dryer and then pull down resistors on both of those. And as you can see, these are our status LEDs for the washer and dryer. So they're actually both running right now. And then of course the serial the USB goes into the back of one of my servers. So that's the Arduino side. Alright, and here's the Linux code on the Linux side. Basically, I have a shell script here that uh, outputs all the device, I mean, all the serial writes that Arduino makes to this file, text file in memory. And then a nice little program called iNotify Wait will watch that file or any modifications made to it and then it will do whatever is below here in the script which here it will take the output and do a case statement which if it's the doorbell front then it will run the certain scripts depending on what the Arduino outputs. Here's an example of what it will do when the dryer finishes. It will actually send a chat to everyone on the LAN using Bonjour and then of course Pigeon installed on either Windows or Linux Kleenex and also post um, a notification to our home automation clients that are around the house that basically display a web page and so alright so here's the message that pops up whenever the dryer is finished of course here's some other events that have happened recently in the home and then here's an IM that was sent to my computer with also a link that I can go view the current status on a web page. And here's the web page. Uh, of course, here's the washer and dryer link. And of course, you can view this from anywhere in the world. So I can tell my washer and dryer run from anywhere. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to download code or scripts or schematics of this project, uh, you can visit my blog at ubuntu.online02.com. And there's also some links to some other similar projects as well. So.